Hello, welcome back to the Bowers Tribe Facebook Friends Tour. This is interview number 22 Ooh. with the amazing Christiana. <laughs> we also have our guest, uh, Buddha, here mm. between us here at Dancing Cranes in Wonderful. Salt Lake City, Utah. So, um, as usual, like I, uh, we usually post, uh, we'll be posting a, a link of what uh, Christiana is all about professionally below this video, so take a look if you want to learn more about that part of her. We've known each other for several years now. Um, a lot of affiliation back in the day with the transformation station at the original mm -hmm. old location and then with Tower Ties and a bunch mm -hmm. of different interactions. Yeah. I mean, you get around a lot of different circles, so and, and I kind of do as well. I mean, so uh -huh. it's fun to yeah. see you not only just one specific area, but like mm -hmm. we've tapped in a lot of different things and you've helped me a lot tremendously with like last year, I did a DJ booth, and, and I definitely appreciate all the assistance and, and everything you provide me, and as well as the community to allow that to happen and, nice. and the spot we had and everything. So I'm, I'm grateful for that. So the big question is, what's going on with with your life currently? <laughs> we're we're it's we're, we're in 2018. It's May, um, and I've talked to other, a lot of people and different people. They they're this is for some reason a time of transformation where people are really shifting and they're doing different things and they're kind of going under and, and, and it's like a secret of what's happening with everybody and, <laughs> and, and you're like a, 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 another addition to that so, so what's, what's currently happening? That is definitely the big question, and it's also a very loaded question, you yeah. know. We got five minutes. Oh, you got five minutes. Okay, five <laughs> min here's the five minute nutshell version. I have to go a few years back, yes, probably absolutely. a decade. I went to a marketing training many years ago, and one of our assignments was that we had to give a speech on Sunday. It was like a three day training, we had three days to prepare. And I was pushing, I was procrastinating that uh, speech, practicing for it, and I wasn't prepared. So once it became my time to be on stage and give my, my two minute speech, mm -hmm. I didn't have anything prepared. And I, as I started to panic and going through all you know, the fear part, mm -hmm. I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna speak from the heart and it's okay. Mm -hmm. And it was supposed to be a marketing speech. So I'm standing up there, I'm taking a deep breath, I'm like, okay, what am I gonna say? And I'm to totally drawing a blank and I have nothing to say to these people. And all of a sudden I started to cry and I just bawled and bawled, the tears were flowing and I'm like, okay, what is this really about? Why am I here? What is my message? What am I really, really doing? Is this about me teaching people NLP? What, what am I doing here? Mm -hmm. And then my two sons showed up for me in my mind's eye and I realized, and they were like eight, nine, ten years old at that time, we're talking a decade ago. And that uh, I, I realized in that moment, this is about the future of my children. Okay. The only reason I'm doing all of this work is because I do everything I can as a mother, a wife, a small business owner. You know, with the, I'm not the president, I'm not a big corporate <laughs> leader and whatever. The little person that I am, what can I do to assure that my kids can grow up in a healthy world? Yeah. And in that moment, everything shifted for me. And I realized that all the goals that I had set for myself when I was a little girl in Germany and what I considered success or fulfillment, none of that mattered. It was truly all about creating that kind of world that is a healthy, beautiful place for kids to grow up in. And from that moment on, my business completely shifted. I attracted China in that moment. So when I really look at it now, hindsight, it's so perfect how everything has arranged itself. And that has been my focus. So no matter where I'm teaching, no matter if it's a client uh, I do some healing work with or I have a student, it's always ultimately about when you raise your consciousness, you can be a better mother, father, child, worker, business owner, whatever, community member, mm -hmm. so that then your vibration can influence and create that ripple effect in your community so that we all can benefit and we all can rise our consciousness together. And until now, and that's why I was joking earlier, I'm like, this is my coming out of the closet <laughs> thing, because until now, I've always kept the environmentalism as that thing that I was just sliding in yeah. underneath. You know, I was doing this corporate training with always in the background, and I want to make sure that you guys get a lot of encouragement and inspiration to simply be better to the planet. And I realized this year, because I took a sabbatical last year mm -hmm. that was very, very important, I took three months off, I canceled all my appointments, I didn't do any trips, I stepped away from Facebook, I stepped away from social media, I made a couple of videos to check in with people here and there, I called it the Goddess Boot Camp. <laughs> so I did three months of nothing but nutrition, 
wellness, nature, and meditation. Oh, wow. It was amazing. And a lot has emerged out of that. And it's really amazing how I can now see how everything has been unraveling those last <laughs> nine months, letting a lot go, but also bringing in a lot. And so my last trip to China, which was last month, I just came back a month ago, that was to me the quintessence and the, the physical tangibility of the results when I walked into that room with 100 people and they were working on that level of healing and transformation that I was able to have with people on a one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. years ago. But now to be in a room of a hundred people and have that same effect and, and feel that in that energy as we are communicating with each other, that was completely overwhelming to me. And in that moment I knew I had to claim this new level and mm -hmm. I could not hide behind my fears, behind my those diminishing thoughts, who am I, mm -hmm. right? We are, we're good at that, we all, we yeah, all have been conditioned that's well. Awesome questions. Yeah, <laughs> so that's what's been going on and I'm emerging out of it and <laughs> it's coming with new sponsors, with new students, new clients. It's just a total emergence, it's a total rebirth and I'm shouting it from the rooftop that that's my amazing. work is about environmentalism. And at this point, we cannot wait anymore. There yeah. is no more, oh, let's do it tomorrow, mm -hmm. you know? Every day we waste, more people die, more animals die, mm -hmm. the rivers get more polluted, the air gets more polluted, it has to happen now. Now, before I came here to meet you today, I also mm -hmm. went to a service today, a spiritual service, mm -hmm. and it was beautiful to hear the speaker talk, the awakening is happening right now, it is mm -hmm. happening, we're in the middle of it, and I want to be a part of that movement, I want to mm -hmm. be part of that motion that takes that beautiful positive way forward, and the key word here is sustainability. When I can be sustainable in my own system, as myself, as a human, I can be sustainable in my family, I can be sustainable in my, my neighborhood, my little town, my state, my country. Mm. So mm. that's my approach and that's where I'm at. Well, I definitely appreciate all the, the disclosure with the like, mm. reality. Now, one mm. question that came to mind, because uh -huh. you're, you're so amazing with your teachings and all the different things you offer, what kind of, I, I'd be, I think it'd be curious for people to know what is it you study or you, you who do you teach, who's your like teacher? <laughs> who teaches Thank you? Thank you for asking that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have had so much luck. Well, mm -hmm. first of all, I stumbled into this NLP community yes. in 1993. So actually, this is my 25 year anniversary of knowing NLP. And I've always attracted the perfect teachers. Every time when I'm ready for the next quantum leap, people show up. And I've really trusted that all my life. Yeah. And so I have spiritual teachers. I also have coaches. I always have coaches. I have a business coach. I have a private coach. I have, um, I have spiritual support. I'm part of a meditation group. So I immerse myself in resources. Mm -hmm. The other thing is because I have such a close bond with China, I also study Buddhism and the Taoism, and so mm -hmm. I have spiritual teachers actually in China. <laughs> so, my darling, my good friend, and so I have some really beautiful teachers. And I'm just going to share one tiny story with you sure. because I also have a Zen master okay. that uh, that I've worked with in the past, and I have a conversation with him. And it was after a terrorist attack in France, okay. the one in uh, par Paris a few yeah. years ago. And I was so you know, upset about it and I tried to uh, digest it and deal with it and have a spiritual experience with it and do the healing work. And I just asked him, I said, how does a Zen master deal with a situation like that? Yeah. And he just sat there and he took a deep breath and then he said, I do not judge. I do not have an opinion because I don't understand the bigger picture. Absolutely. And that kind of tiny little exchange, that little tiny moment to me is a teaching moment. And then I can take that and run with it. Mm -hmm. So those little things that I collect all over the world, those little bits of wisdom, those little nuggets of wisdom, they then become my exploration for the next half year or so. And then I journal about it and I look at every situation through that and that's how I learn, that's how I keep growing and I have a huge, huge support system. That's and great. my most important support system is my family, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, my husband, my boys, that is, they are my wonderful steady rock that keeps, my husband always says that he's the, the person who holds me, I'm the kite up there and he holds me <laughs> so I come back to earth. I've and that them. works for us. And I've seen them at your like, past events and stuff, they're with mm -hmm. you and they're hanging yeah. out and they're just yeah. like doing and assisting yeah. you. And totally like part that. of it, yeah. So it, the statement you just mentioned mm -hmm. uh, with the, the teacher that talked yeah. about you have no judgment, since you've heard that and 
have you been able to personally experience that on your in your own personal life? Not Absolutely. like some triggers you're like, oh my gosh, yeah. it's so bad. Yeah. But it's you know who am I to judge? Have yeah. you been able to actually live Absolutely. that? Absolutely. And the thing is, with having been an NLP practitioner for so long, I've practiced that for a long time because I used to be one of those incredibly reactionary people yeah. and high drama, high sadness, high and all that. So that was a huge deal for me to actually learn that. And so him saying that just emphasized that, it confirmed it. And yes, I do ca catch myself when I hear dramatic news because there's not much drama happening in my life, yeah. let it be. And when I am getting exposed to outside drama, it's very easy for me to go there. And I quote him a lot. I have told the story multiple times. And so I know it lives in me. And at this point, yeah, it's, uh, I just look at things and what we say in NLP, there has to be a positive intent. Mm -hmm. So even when I look at the world and issues that we're dealing with globally right now, there has to be a positive intent for that. Mm -hmm. And part, yeah. of the, part of this whole tour and doing this thing on mm -hmm. Facebook and social media, uh, th this whole experience is my ex uh, my expression of a positive intent with social media. Yeah. This experience, this interaction with you, mm -hmm. along with the 21 other individuals mm -hmm. that happened for two weeks. Today's two weeks anniversary Yay, for me. Yay, wonderful. Uh, my whole intention is just to create connection and, and positive intent for people to yeah. stay connected and learn more on a personable level mm -hmm. outside of what they can read about you on, on your website yeah, and things right. like that. Yeah. But, you know, but everything has its place and, and I, I just definitely want to express my gratitude for you being willing to uh, <laughs> actually the universe connected yeah, us here because totally. you're, you're hardly not very often in Salt mm -hmm. Lake and the universe like connected us together yep. and we were like kind of corresponding awesome. and, and they're like okay dancing queens on Sunday it's yeah. meant to be so it's yeah. really cool to see and, and let allow things mm -hmm. unfold yeah and so, is there anything else you'd like to, to mention or bring up today? I was hoping that you would come to Kanab, and that's why okay. I contacted you. You know, I'm like, hey, Chris, are you going to come to Kanab on your tour? Mm -hmm. And then it did work out with my training up here that we could connect. So I'm also very grateful to you mm -hmm. for doing that. I think this is a wonderful project, and that's mm -hmm. why I wanted to be part of it. And you are connecting us. So thank you for that incredibly wonderful dedication that you bring into this project. And there's nothing else to say for me at this moment, I think. Great. I well, got my message across. <laughs> thank well, you. Well, as always, thank you for, for your time. And um, would it be safe to say that we are friends in real life and not just on Facebook? You betcha, my friend. <laughs> you betcha, my friend. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't have shown up today. <laughs> <laughs> and I did this not is say it. too. <laughs> He's our friend. And I didn't say that on camera. The first time I ever met you was not us conversing. You drummed. Yeah. And that was the conversation <laughs> of the heart. And that's, that's why we've always been friends, even so it took us a couple of years to actually come talk. Yeah. <laughs> but like the drums, a... they spoke already. I know how to communicate well with uh -huh. that. Yes, <laughs> and you there's, do. There's some, some over here I might like, play it a little bit later. Awesome. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you, my friends. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs>